Boom. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. I'm Jay Dumont, your host, as always. Bring you some more College Hoops 2K8. Let's ball. Last game, we beat Ball State, and um, right now we have to set up our training regimen for the next week. I have some bonus drills to do, actually. Let's attack the back the basket with WC Lurie. And then um, we have to set up our training for next week. Watch college hoops tonight. Let's see where we start in the polls. To the left. To the left. To the left. Wrong shot stick. I always get that wrong. But, um... We play a tough Duquesne team next. Throwing it down. <clears throat> Got it right that time. So, um, we blew out. Somewhat decent Ball State team. Play a tough Duquesne team next. Let's grab rebounds with Oba Sohan. And um, or Theodore Hawkins. with Oba Sohan. He is a good defensive rebounder and offensive rebounder. We have to do our recruiting next week. I'm trying to get some three stars in there. Man. Take it. Beat up, show me. Dealing with a migraine headache, but I'm pushing through because I want to play the game. Alright, Felton Marie. Balanced skills and durability. Definitely durability. Shooting and inside scoring. Definitely durability. Shooting and post play. Also, let's get shooting. Post play and durability. Theo. Not seeing a lot of improvement so far. Well, in the shooting, anyway. Inbounding, inside scoring. Durability, Muhammad.
Let's get his awareness up. Speed and quickness. Helmer, work on your shooting. Ransom. Inside scoring. Bucky on your shooting. Your rebounding. Isaiah Hall, your inside scoring. Your post play. Chuck Fellers, not seeing much improvement, even though we gave him shooting. That doesn't bode well for him. Alright. Staying on the roster long term. <clears throat> no college hoops yet. stars high school junior high school senior point guard Tommy Ben was high school point guard visit him at home give him a phone call High school point guard. This is him at home. Keeves Queen, shooting guard. Let's visit him at home as well. school junior all right all that's left is to play Duquesne let's get into it and do it I'm trying to learn this new team we should see what we have to worry about on Duquesne part of the Atlantic 10 a great rebounding team shooting guard who just rocks it. Prosper Morissette. Is out with a strained Achilles. Lonnie Worley is out with a separated shoulder. So we have to watch out for Robert Didlake. He doesn't shoot threes, but he scores a lot. Their senior power forward. Averaging 19. A lot of rebounds. Freshman at the center and shooting guard spots. Prosper's out. Alright, so... Let's do it. <clears throat> I think this is a team we can beat. We have to play well. Turn my volume up a little bit here. Get into it. My mic is on, good. Get ready for the two Dukes, 2K8. You see Davis good mid major teams. Dukes. This should be a whale of a game. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the AJ Palumbo Center. I'm Vern Lundquist, here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? The story here is the matchup at Auburn. Yep. Delacque is definitely one of the Delake. best shooting guards in the nation. He can put it on the deck as good as anybody That's in the game. Like. <laughs> His ball handling skills alone make him fun to watch. Webb is also a top quality two guard. He's such an impressive shooter.
Let's have a web guard to lock a. Four in the post. Once he gets it in tight, he won't be denied. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Should be. Oh, they've got size. 7'2", 6'10". They've got big fellas down there. UC Davis controls the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. Dishes it to the wing. Backs in. Webb with the shot. Scores the opening Webb. field goal. He's got two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? I have to lock a man. I talked with the Dukes coach. Guys, when I asked him for his impression of their opponent tonight, he never hesitated. He said, they are tremendous outside shooters. Oh, I thought I got a defense. swat. We've got to do everything we can to contest each and every shot. Vern? Thanks, Tracy. Shooting two. We may need to go to Ransom Jimenez early in this one. Bring our own 7-2 player out here. Knocks down the first one. He's going to be in a handful down low. He gets the second to fall as well. Webb inbounds the ball. They're bringing the double team. Goes up. They will this one go to <laughs> Nice. We'll take it if they're going to press. Oba Sohan's got to attack. I thought Webb was guarding Didlake. Well, I'm on the 7 2 guy. Oba Sohan's on the 7 2 guy. Beat him down the floor. Oba Sohan backs in. Lorry lets it go. Puckers muscles in and snags the offensive rebound. Nice. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves oh, nice. no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. That nice shot dropped wow. in by Webb. Beautiful. Four catches it on the free throw line. <clears throat> Dishes, left wing. Did Lucky. Line ball passes down low. What? Watson, almost a free point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line. Hawkins is prone to foul. Shooting two. I think next year we're going to cut Chuck Fellers, even after the red shirt year. He's not showing much improvement. Can't sink the first. Sadly, if only his potential was a D or a C minus, we'd be able to hang on to him. It's an F. Good on number two. Well, inbounds the ball. Defense! Defense! Left wing Defense! skips it to the low block. Defense! Well, Defense! four snatches the rebound, but they're still up by five. Dishes to the right. Four has it in the paint. Uh. He'll have a chance for the three point goal. Right to the foul. Put it down. Strong move, I have to play a 2 3 zone. He can't come away with a three point call. Swing pass. Left wing. Throws it up. The offensive board gathered by Hawkins. Defense. Just too much contact there, Burr. You're not going to get away if you affect the shot that much. Good board, Theo. He can't get the first. Sinks the second. Nice. 
Mayo inbounds the ball. About 17 and a half minutes left in the half. Line ball takes it up, banks it off the glass and in. Line ball. They now trail by two. Go Webb. Webb catches it left side. Nice. It's the second foul. They get right in there against them. They were slow on the rotations. All the salons have been as good as advertised for us. He makes the first. Clark makes his first appearance. He gets them both. Hooked away, but it's tracked down by Duquesne. Did Lucky at the controls? Well, launches one and beyond the arc gets the bucket. They're out in front by five. Right around 17 minutes left in the half. Line ball passes it to the left side. Dishes it to the right wing. Shot clock dwindling. No way. Clock off target from 16 feet. I wouldn't bet on him missing that one again. Marie passes to the right side. Hawkins. Gets it out left. Pass left wing. Over Sohan. Has it top of the key. Marie swings it to the wing. From the baseline. Pulled in by Watson. That's questionable defending there. They're lucky to get away with the miss. Inside. Clark. Hits the layup after the the feet. They draw to within three. Dumps it down low. Deny it. Mm. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. 7 2. Trying to get him in foul trouble. Clark shoots from 13 feet up the backboard again. He's got four. Feeds it to the left wing. Nice little crossover. Tosses it up. The jumper was buried by Webb. There See, that's what Lori three. could do. Right around 15 Penetrate and dish. Got to use that to our advantage. Watson gets it down the <sighs> We're gonna bring Ransom in early. We'll leave Webb out there with two he can manage. Down the first taken the out there, 7-2 guy. We'll have our own 7-2 guy in there for them to worry about. Little crossover. Laurie dumps it off. Jimenez takes the shot. He just missed it. That's it. Oh, three point off the He'll go to five for two. Down the first one. Take it. Found money. When Jimenez hits free throws. Let's make it two for two, big fella. He 
gets the ball. Nice. Sessoms inbounds the ball. About 14 and a half. Get back, get back, get half. back, get back. Get lucky. Puts it up. Corral by Jimenez. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. One on one. Marie dishes it to the wing. Left knocks well. it down from 20 feet away. They're up 20 <clears throat> to 14. Line ball brings it up the floor. Line ball. Oh, nice. line there. That's going to be over and back. That's just careless for he wasn't watching where he was on the court. So penetrating dish works against this 2-3 zone. Or just dish. Left wing. Goes to the crossover. Ah. Taken away. Again, he's making big plays on defense to help his ball play. What? KG instincts on the foul. defensive end. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. Shooting. Let's go Orly with Muhammad Doyle. And he makes the first. Bust up this zone. For the first time. And he splits the free throws. Jimenez passes it up court. Webb takes it up. Webb reels in the offensive rebound. M1. Foul. That's his to first the contact, foul. Hang in the air foul. and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. Making sure Webb does his work early. They don't have that big shot blocker in there anymore. Sessoms inbounds the ball. About 13 and a half minutes left in the half. Here comes the double team. This should have been backcourt. Line ball, way up court. Passes it to the middle. The lock is not scoring. Hits the play. They're now down by five. Go ransom. Go ransom. Go ransom. ransom. Yank down inside by Jimenez. Lead pass inside. Webb has it out left. Bounces it off every yeah. part of the rim. Oh. And more. The Duquesne coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Well, let's get back to the end out there to hopefully hit some threes. Web is cooking early. Forbes inbounds the ball. Under 13 minutes left in the half. Webb I why did I do that? His third foul so far. But he need to be careful. The next foul is going to have the other team shooting free throws for the rest. Why of did the I half. take that risk with Webb? Anticipate. Give me that. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Doyle hands it off. Backs him down. Shoots from the post. Nice. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. Passing leading to a scoring opportunity. Doyle wasn't going to make that, but he could draw the foul. Knocks down the first one. Should be a nice win for us early on. Go into a tough mid major. The Atlantic 10, pull out a victory. He's off on the second. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Wells. Bricks it off the front iron. It's still early, Vern, but they can't take any more time to get this thing going. It hasn't been pretty for them so far. Oh, I should have shot that. Gets it inside. Jimenez kicks it out to the wing. Pulls the trigger. It goes straight out of bounds after the shot.
Sessoms inbounds the ball. Sessoms. Ball brings it up the floor. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman. No one was open. Nice. There we get a five second call. He stuck to him like glue, Vern. That was tenacious deep. Dumps it to the paint. Williamson from 18 feet away. Jimenez gets the rebound. Ah. Last layup, no good. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. Did Lucky dumps it off. Stolen by Doyle. Nah. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then pounced. Such Tried to get it to web. Bold pass. John. Forbes is back out there. Another 7 2 demon. Bounces it to the inside. Williamson catches it. Middle. Buries it. Will get by eight. He didn't have a chance to react. Inbounds the ball. They're going to double team it. Wells passes it up court. Well. Bounce pass to the paint. Line ball. He's going to move here. Has it outright. Wells beats it to the left. Outright. Sessoms shoots it. Doyle gets the board inside. Duquesne is not doing a very good job on the boards today. And Tracy has a report oh. on the bench. The Duke's coach just told 19 us points for Webb. With five guys in the paint, then let's Ooh. do it. But I'm getting very tired of seeing us getting killed on the board. Substitution on the them scrambling to the chalkboard, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. He's firing away. Jimenez backs down, dishes to the free throw line, behind the arc, snatched mm. by four, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. He'll make that one most of the time. Well, the D got a break on that one. Oh, I knew that was coming. I wanted that pass. Sessa catches it, top of the key. Wells. Don't let Wells get off. Gets it left wing. Right wing. No. Slattery shoots with the clock winding down. Sessa. Come on, Jimenez. Webb inbounds the ball. Dishes it to the left. Williamson backs in, beats it to the baseline. Webb has it down low. He's doubled up. Passes left side. Raises up. The three was off target by Marie. They're still up by nine. Forbes. He's double teamed. Give me that. Stolen away by Marie. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when he got the chance, that's his first one to see a penalty situation. Shooting two. Let's get Theo back out there for some fresh legs to go up against the 7-2 Forbes. And he makes the first. Coach Davis may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions. Because that gives him a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. He gets the second to fall as well. Sessoms inbounds the ball. The Dukes with some difficulties. They're going to double team him. Give me that ball. Glory ties him up, but the offense will keep the ball as the arrow's in their favor. Oh, they got to watch their hands, Vern. The next foul puts them over the limit. Wells fires it. Way <laughs> up. The Duquesne coach saw something out there. He wants to make Rebounding. some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his player's attention. Getting set to inbound the ball. Well, Hawkins got to take it right at Forbes strong and draw some fouls. Yeah, Webb, play with your hands behind your back. That's what we need. 
en face. Gets it, left wing. Clark backs down. And I get stuck on him. Right wing. Clark. Left hauls it in. That's his fourth rebound thus far. Passes to the left wing. Williamson catches it. Left side. Skip pass. Corner. Laurie. <sighs> Williamson with the shot. All net. Williams. He's got four. Three out of two. Just working around for the open J. Eight minutes Give me that. Turn over. over. Out of bounds. If only we could have played this good against Villanova. Williamson inbounds the ball. Laurie dishes to the right. Left wing feeds it to the baseline. Nice. Forbes is in out there. That's two on Clark. Shooting one and one. Easy to pick apart the zone today. But that brings Forbes back in. That's not good unless we want to tire out the big fella. Keeping him on the floor. And he'll come away one of two. Shoots from the post. Rebounded inside. Trying to try the foul on Forbes. With some abysmal stats. Colton. Passes to the right lane. Watson has it. High post. From deep. It falls. He's two for two from downtown. Well, inbounds the ball. Here's a 3 2 zone with minimum principles. We'll see if they have a plan on offense for this look. Doyle launches it. Ford yanks it down inside. They've got to learn to be patient on offense. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. Errant last shot by Let's get all the Sohan back out there. Good for the three point shot. But the Sohan didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Just like that, the lead is 14 to 8. Puts it up. The eight footer knocked down by Webb. They now have a double digit lead. Duquesne is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The Dukes coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said, if we can't hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. Guys, he's trying to get his message across loud and clear. All right, Tracy. He has a great rhythm from there. It's kind of a lost start in this world of dunks and triples. Just over six minutes left in the half. Colton. Here's the spin move. Gets it right wing. Doyle behind the arc. Over Sohan. Nice. Keeps it alive on the offensive end. Colton the big fella. the ball. Duquesne is really struggling. The Duquesne coach wants to throw it over with his troops. Hey, if you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank with you. Break. Need him for the second half. Forty points in the first half with five minutes left, though. Pretty nice. Great pass. Right wing goes up. Grab by Lowe. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. And that's the main reason they're leading in this game. Dishes it to the top of the key. Laurie throws it out, reads it for three. They're in front, 43 to 30. Our offense is rolling. About five and a half minutes left in the half. A lot of assists today. Watson 
foul the card, and he'll take foul. a trip to the line. That's his second personal foul. Eight team foul. Shooting one and one. He misses the first. Well, we're on pace for a lot of points if we keep this up. And he's going to come away empty from the line. Uh. Taken away by Sledder. He showed great hands on that steal. His man wasn't protecting the ball, and he just snatched it away from him. Last shot laid in by Lindbaugh. It's deflected, but it's recovered by Doyle. UC Davis has had serious problems with their interior defense, and Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Davis is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Fires. <laughs> Theo, he just pwned you, bro. That last basket was buried by Obasoan. The Dukes are really struggling. You gotta hope the big fellas is just getting tired, though. Slattery catches it right side. Four. Three seconds. Take it. Uh, things just aren't going their way. Turnovers like that tell a story for how this game is played out. Doyle inbounds the ball. Feeds left wing. Marie uses the crossover. Doyle from long range on Doyle. the money. They're now out in front by 14. Driving kick. Under four minutes left in the half. Gets it on the strike. Out right. Dumps it down low. The steal by Obasoan. Give me that. Wonderful job of denying the basket. Oh. Great pick. Line ball brings it up. Not bad. Knocks it loose. Line ball. Swing pass. Left wing. Line ball. Catches it, right wing. 20 footer was off by Slattery. Run. Marie skips it to the wing, releases. The tray was missed by Lowry. No. But they're still out in front by 14. They're set up in Nidamit. Stolen the way. Go, Lowry. It's two on one. Laurie takes it up, throws it down Lurie. after taking it the length of the court. They now have a Take dozen a of the night. points. 229 left in the first half. Top of the key. Dishes to the top of the key. They're a mess on offense. They're a mess. Colton to end the drought. Six. Mm. But they're still behind by 13. Beats it to the wing. Hawkins has it on the inside. Hawkins snatches it down inside. The mm. defense is a threat down there, and they gave him no room to operate. Line ball ends it off. Forbes has got to be getting tired out there. Colton shoots it. Shot from the baseline. Nailed by Slurry. They're now behind by 11. Doyle puts it up. Misses the long run. They still have an 11 point lead. Line ball bounces it to the right. High post. Passes it to the wing. Line ball. 
gives it to the right wing. Slatter. With a hand in his face. They cut the lead to eight. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Dishes out left. Backs him down. <laughs> Watson inbounds the ball. Duquesne is really struggling. It's only a 10 point game though. We've scored 52, but we've given up 42. Watson shoots. Wow. Right with us. What do you think of the first half, Bill? If we don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. I have a 23 and 6 already. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Webb is the guy for me, Vern. Look at this scoring display. He hasn't been afraid to put it on the deck and take it to the 10 or pull up from deep and knock down the jumper. A fantastic display. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. I'll be right back. Back. So let's check. Our defense is way too tight for this team, a team that has no, no long range threat. Uh, off the bench they do. We could play more bench players. We're doing great. Keep up the good work. Alright, we'll turn pressure down a little bit. I'm just going 8 deep. Six assists for Lori. I mean, six assists for Marie. Three for Lori. Let's do it. Let's finish this We're thing all set out. To begin the second half. As long as we play that zone, I feel we can bust it up. Over Sohan inbounds it to start the second half. Catches it left wing. Webb. Dishes to the left side. Nice job on the assist by Webb. He's one for two for the game. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on in halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with yeah, Coach Davis. He felt it wouldn't zone. be classy to run up the score and was going to change things in a way to make sure that doesn't happen. He continued by saying that his players responded best when they played out of their comfort zone. By mixing things up, he hopes to shake up the opponent's confidence. Back to you. Thanks, Tracy. Wow. Let's see if they took that. That's, That's not a place to foul, Vern. A little more effort defensively, and you could avoid mm -hmm. those mistakes. Pulled up quickly, wasn't ready for it. That was like a Jamal Crawford quick three. Good, I'm up at 25 already. Going for player of the week. Puts it in and he can't miss at the line. Clark inbounds the ball. Gotta watch this Watson feller. Top of the key. Beats it to the can shoot too, so can Clark. Forbes. Passes to the left wing. Ah. Watson hits it. He's shooting 62% for the game. Lauren has it left wing, feeds right wing. Webb catches it top of the key from deep. Didn't fall by Lauren. 
But they're still out in front by 10. Line ball swings it to the wing. I think they have their bench out there. Dishes it to the right wing. Watson pulls the trigger. Gets the three-pointer to go. Watch out for that Watson, dude. Three-point range. Laurie, the crossover, beats it to the left side, takes the shot. Ooh, the defender was right in his face, but the shot was hit by Obasoa. That pressure back up. By nine. Tip Give me that. And it's gathered up by Marie. Line ball pulls it in. Missy layups are going to get him a quick trip to the bench, Fern. Line ball tosses it up court. Oh, should have had that. Watson goes up. Gary Watson is killing me. Leading score. About 17 and a half minutes left in the second half. Hawkins gets it right side. Backs down. Back baseline. Webb has it top of the key. Let's it go. The three ball go. is good by Lori. He's two for six from deep. Their defense is their worst aspect, and it's showing. Line ball passes it to the right block. Last attempt off the mark by Forbes. Lori with the crossover. Left wing. Webb for three. Connects. 29 points, and he is the leading scorer. Forbes dishes it to the right side. Watson catches it right wing. Dumps it down low. Goes up. Good deal. Nice up fake to set up the J, but it was missed by Forbes. About 16 and a half minutes left in the second half. Webb puts up the track. Oh. <laughs> they take a 16 point lead. Watson. Doing it with three fouls, Let's too. Side. Line ball. Passes to the high post. Yeah, you shoot that. Four has it down low. Pass right side. Hold in by Watson. Misses the easy one. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the sidelines. Crosses it over. Webb. Has it on the free throw line. Hawkins kicks it out to the left wing. Oh, they're going man to man now. Hawkins. Double clutches. I tried to Ford pump fake. Corrals the miss. Still a 16 point lead. Stolen by UC Davis. The team no. was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Last tray off the mark by Webb. I rushed that. Watson gets it in the paint. But the Soho calls in the board. Under 15 minutes left in the second half. That's what I call a little intimidation. Didn't go up strong enough, and you saw the result. Unloaded. The fadeaway was nailed by Hawkins. They're leading 70 to 52. Uh. Ford takes it up. Pretty pass by Sledder. That gives him a double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Goes up. Grab uh. by Clark. But they're still up by 16. How are you going to miss that, Theo? He's beating him down the floor. Forbes. Watson catches it left wing. Slattery from about 19 feet. Bounces off the left rim and out. Hawkins crosses it over. 
to the inside. Lobs it to the right. Over Sohan. Gets it to go. And they're now out in front by 18. The Duquesne coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Look at that defense. You see Davis four is out, more experience but... out on the floor and they're bringing <clears> on the senior. <throat> Colton inbounds the ball. They're playing man to man here, Vern. Passes it to the wing. I don't think did Lockie scored all night. Uses the crossover. He knows the court and he knows how to get by him. Just a superb all round player. Physical talent and talent for the X's and O's. Marie dumps it off. Lob baseline. Jimenez backs in, tosses it up. Corner shot nailed by Lori. He's got 10. It's like a library here, Vern. We need some excitement to get this crowd going. Line ball. Catches it right wing. Left wing. Sessoms from the baseline puts too much on. It. Great job to swarm the jump shooter on that play. That's how you lock your man up. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Jimenez goes way up to get that rebound. Jimenez. He just can't leave anyone that open so close to the 10. 20 point game. Clark has it on the elbow. Get it out. Oh, and they'll turn it over. You really have to be aware how much time you have left and make the most of it. It's inexcusable not to get a shot off. Webb inbounds the ball. The Aggies have got a nice lead. Backs him down. Gets it left wing. Laurie skips it to the right wing. Snatched inside by Sesum. What a turnaround. He was ringing those in before, but all of a sudden, he's gotten a little cold out there. To the middle. Dishes to the wing. Wells takes the shot. Nails the jump shot. But they're still down by 18. Under 11 minutes left in the second half. Webb. Bounces it to the left wing. Laurie goes to the crossover. Webb catches it. Top of the key. Tosses it up. It falls short. They still got an 18-point lead. Beyond the arc. It was nailed by Well. Man, they just keep coming. Marie brings it up court. Passes to the elbow. Lori. The drops. See. He's five for nine for the game. Wells passes it up court. Has it right wing. Colton passes to the free throw line. Dicey pass. Corner. Dishes it to the right side. Colton. Launches one from beyond the arc. He's shooting 37% for the game. About nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Over Sohan gets it on the elbow. That last shot offline from 20. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got yeah. a little over anxious.
Pass, high post. Wells raises up. Can't get the jumper to fall. Laurie. The crossover. Marie beats it to the left. The 15-footer. Snatched mm. down by Sesamus. <clears throat> Top of the key, passes to the right wing. Sessoms dishes it to the baseline. Passes, high post. Sessoms could not get the layup to fall after that nice pump fake. Leads him in. The D served it up to him and he still doesn't sink it. That'll give the coach a pain in the stomach. Well, we can see who got the better of this matchup. Huh? Did luck out step back a little bit quick line there. That's an over and back line. These guys are having serious trouble so right now. The if they limited the silly turnovers, maybe this score wouldn't be as lopsided as it is. Oba Sohan inbounds the ball. Has it right wing. Webb skips it to the baseline. Right wing. Oba Sohan. Passes it to the wing. Backs down. Feeds. Corner. Lori unloads. What a play. He followed his man right up and was able to get a hand on the ball. No good on that last shot by Slattery. The Aggies take their first time out of the game. Substitution. The Aggies are making substitutions. Doyle dumps it off. Williamson backs him down. Catches it outright. Webb, nice little crossover. Williamson dishes to the wing. Nice catch nice. on that last Doyle. three by Doyle. I'm the Duquesne coach might have decided to switch things up a little bit. He's going to take time to make sure everybody's clear on the game plan. Getting set to this unit. the ball. Clark inbounds the ball. Duquesne may be switching things up a little bit. Tracy Wolfson has a report for us. Tracy? The Dukes had a very animated discussion on their bench just a moment ago, Vern. They feel like they haven't been getting their shots off quick enough, so look for them to really pick up the pace on these next few times up the court. That last long two was missed by Wells. Missed shot in the paint by Miles. Pulls the trigger. The three-pointer oh. hit by Webb. That's eight unanswered points. 37 for Webb, career high. Right wing. Did Lucky. Beats it to the top of the key. Wells, it's good. He's got seven. Ledbetter crosses it up for the Aggies. They're the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. These guys are having trouble with the fundamental team play, Vern. As that turnover shows you, they don't have much in the way of chemistry at the moment. Watson inbounds the ball. Watson has it out left. Bounce pass, left corner. Slattery takes it up. Well, when you come over from the weak side like that, that's what you call great help defense. With the crossover, Webb hands it off. Shoots from the top of the key. Snatched by Miles. Strange as it may seem, that's only his second rebound so far. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Watson gets it in the paint. Miles releases. Connects inside the key. But they're still down by 18. Webb passes down low. Backs in. 
from deep on the money. Well, 40. He's shooting 60% from downtown. 10 team threes, and my has 40 points. Whew. Dishes to the right side from about 19 hey. feet. So, by Watson. And they're now behind by 19. Under five minutes left in the second half. Jimenez backs in. Doyle. Webb catches it. Left wing. Crosses it over. Webb. Jimenez he checks down the offensive rebound. Catches it. Left wing. Backs down. Webb shoots it. Gets another shot. Webb. This time it counts. 42. By 21. Lost track of his position and stepped on the out of bounds line. That is a turnover. Max substitution makes his first appearance. He lost track of where he was, Vern. That's just not heads up basketball. Williamson inbounds the ball. With the shot. The three point shot was offline by Doyle. But they still lead by 21. Quick trigger. Did Lucky beats it to the right. High post. So we're going to get a good left wing. kind of conference win again. Watson First fires temple. The three. Mile yanks it down. He the best. Now Duquesne. Still state. Webb leaves 42. I'm not going to try to go for 50. We're not going to embarrass them. We're already beating them pretty healthily here. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. They're bringing the double team. Under four minutes left in the second half. Skips it to the right wing. Doyle has it right block. Skip pass right wing. Ledbetter backs him down. Bangs off the side of the rim and out. They've still got an 18-point lead. Did Lucky. I don't think Did Lucky scored a point against Webb and company. Gets it right wing. Right wing. This guy did though, Watson. Bounces it to the left. Slattery. 14 feet out. Uses the pass and goes in. He's four for nine for the game. Williamson. Backs him down. Off by four. Uh, I meant to hit Y. You could see that one coming before he released it. Snatch down inside by Doyle. You would have liked to seen them get a better shot off than that, Bill. You know, Burnett's just shaky shot selection. Passes back. Top of the key. Williamson. Doyle beats it to the top of the key. Two minutes From downtown. Two You've just got to hit that shot when you've got that much space. You can hit that. Passes to the wing. Watson. Dishes for a side. Dishes right wing. Slattery. Get lucky. Passes it to the strike. To the paint. Mayo goes up. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Sweet 16 appearance last year. Where can this team go? Knocks down the first one. Once we get some unity. He 
Gets the second to fall as well. Williamson inbounds the ball. The Aggies should slow it down and use some thought. Doyle dumps it off. Ledbetter, nice little crossover. McElroy dishes it to the top of the key. Rises and dishes. Doyle catches it outright. Puts it up. McElroy reels it in. Crisp. Uses the crossover. Gets it on the perimeter to end their drought. Too long, and it was missed by Williamson. I think this game is out of reach, Fern. There's just not enough time left for a comeback. Man, Watson with 26. Williamson inbounds the ball. Here comes the double team. The Aggies have this game pretty much in the bag. Good game, though. game is in this game. You see Davis knocks off the Dukes 91 to 80. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. 42. It's six. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The UC Davis Aggie used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. See you, Lori. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. I want to say we shot the ball really well. High 40s, perhaps. Forty-five percent. Ten of twenty-eight from downtown. That was big. Twenty-four assists. Only six turnovers, so there's sixteen. Rebounding was about equal. We had 13 offensive boards. They had seven. Eight steals to their five. Their bench outscored our bench 31 to 15. We had 12 second chance points and just four fast break points. Watson was killing me. Forbes didn't do too much damage. Did lock in and score a point. 42. W.C. Laurie, the nice stat line, four boards, five assists. Felton Marie quietly had eight assists and three steals. Four rebounds, Oba Sohan, 12-7, two assists, two steals. 8.6 boards for Hawkins. Doyle did a little bit of everything. Didn't shoot very well, though. Williamson, so it was the web show. Rear high. All right, we'll get a balanced. No, let's let's do a team. A team focus here. Yeah, let's do a team focus. Shooting, durability, and defense. No college hoops tonight? Oh, yeah. Three and one so far.
Welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on College Hoops Tonight, we'll recap the biggest games of the week, as well as give you a preview of some of the huge matchups coming up around the nation in the next few days. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice as our player of the week in college basketball. Come on, Webb. Yeah, Webb, baby. Webb set the bar pretty high for what kind of performance it's going to take to win the Player of the Week award. He started the season with a bang. <laughs> There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, oh, so let's take crushed. a look at our games of the week. We had a pair of top 25 teams in an old-fashioned grudge match. Florida did away with Villanova. This game wasn't as close as I expected it to be, but there still was high-level basketball well, play. play Florida. I expect to see more of both of these teams in the future. Florida did a tremendous job in the rebounding department. It was truly a dominant performance on the glass. They show great hustle and determination every time a shot went up on either end. That's always an area that can really be an indicator of a team's performance, and the rebounding numbers told the tale in this one. And next up, let's look back on another great contest from the past week. Wow. Auburn beat Providence. This game needed the full clock to decide who was going to come out as the winner. The action was so back and forth that the crowd never had a chance to relax the entire game. Moreno was not going to be denied. His 33 points led all scores. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. This will be a fantastic battle. This is shaping up to be a prototypical style versus style matchup. Great scorers on one side of the court, great defenders on the other. This is going to be a real showdown. Florida plays a brand of defense that should make the difference in this game. They are a tough, tough team to score against. And if you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take it. I think they'll be in top form for this contest. And we have another upcoming contest that promises to be a classic. I'm looking forward to this game just like everybody else. This matchup has the possibility of becoming quite a little rivalry because these teams match up so well against each other, and it's always a heated atmosphere when they're on the court together. That's our show, everyone. For all of us here at the 2K cool. Sports Studios, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Did I do my bonus drills this week? I have two. Crap rebound with Hawkins. Hawkins may be pretty good, but I don't think he has a lot of upside. this drill off. That's not a skip. There we go. Get with somebody. With what? Wrong 
Shots get tight. percentage up there and start dunking. Should have made it a little higher. Should have made it at least 35-40. Next up is Yale, 0 and 3. Let's see if we match up against them. They're not very good this year. Let's see what those poles look like. Are the poles out yet? We're not ranked here. Mid major, we're 13. to um, get up for that Washington game. That'll give us a boost if we win that. All right, so I want to say thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Tune in next time as we play uh, Yale. And then coming up, tough one against the one and one, number nine, Washington. That's going to be a doozy. We have Georgia Tech coming up. this. So I'll see you in the future. Peace out, everybody.